Hi folks, in this lesson I'm going to show you a little mandolin trick which I stumbled upon way back in the 70s when I was first learning to play mandolin. It was purely by accident that I found myself playing a blues scale and I didn't even know what a blues scale was. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, looking at your music there, what I have written out on that first line are just the first five notes of an A major scale. And I've whittled this thing down uh, just to make it simpler to understand the concept and in a minute I'll show you the, the full scale. We're just going to take those five notes of the major scale and they're notes one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm just turning it around and coming back down. And that makes a nice repeatable little thing that you can run up and down. I have it written there as quarter notes uh, just to make it a little easier to read. Now, what happened to me when a long time ago I was playing a tune, and I don't remember what it was, but it was using some of those notes. Something in there, and I was over there looking at the paper and just playing and accidentally had my fingers one fret too high and did this instead, instead of this. And that really got my wheels to turn it. There's our first five notes of the A major scale with the correct fingering. And now I'm just gonna slide my fingers up one fret and do the exact same thing And what you get, almost by magic, are five notes of the blues scale. Uh, the blues scale, you can go watch my lesson called What is a Blues Scale? And it'll explain all the notes of the blues scale. But these first five of the major scale just transform automatically if you leave the first note alone and raise the middle three and leave this note alone. And you can, you can study that tab and see those numbers. If you see a 2 in the A major scale, if you look down at that corresponding note, you'll see it's a 3. And the 4's become 5 and the 5's become 6. All I've done is slide up one fret. So that becomes this. And you can hear that it's starting to get pretty bluesy sounding. Now, if you applied that to the entire major scale, you would have notes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 1 on top. It actually works with all of those notes. Uh, if you just shift them up, you'll get the root, the flat third, the 4, the flat 5, the 5, the flat 7, and the root right there. And you could just stop right there if you wanted to. That is a complete blues scale. And it's the exact same fingering as the major scale just slid up. If you play it all the way to the very top, you get a flat nine on top, which is kind of an altered uh, out of the box note that's not really part of the blues scale, but it's there if you wanna play it. So all you have to do is take your old major scale fingering when you're playing on starting on open strings Move it up one fret and instant blues scale. Here's a little lick using just three notes that demonstrates this concept pretty well and it's easy to play. Let's take a look. Now I admit that's a pretty simple little lick. It only uses three notes but I'm, I want to give you something easy to play so that you can try this concept and without having to work too hard at it then you can you can take other licks that use major scale notes and apply the same idea to it. So these are just notes one, two, and three of the major scale. And that's something you might play in the real world, in the bluegrass world. So there's the lick. Now if we convert it to make it bluesy, we don't really have to do anything except just scoot up a little bit, play the same stuff. And every one of those notes is coming straight out of the A blues scale. That 
that little mistake made me really curious and that started my quest to try to understand more about music theory and how to use it. Take some little bits and pieces of tunes that you play that use major scale notes and see if you can make them sound a little more bluesy. Who knows, you might discover something that makes a light bulb go on over your head like I did. Take care and I'll see you in the next lesson.